All right, and our final play for today, as I said, Trayvon Diggs. We're going to take a look at, I believe he's the uh, it, it, NFC Player of the Month. I got I got I got he he's that good. Uh, let's see. I think he's I honestly think he's like defensive player of the month. He's that he's he was that talented. All right, and as I stated, our final play, we got to take a look at uh, the Dallas Cowboys and Trayvon Diggs. All right, this he's lit it up this year, absolutely lit it up. Five interceptions in four games, including two against the uh, the Carolina Panthers, a, a, a team that I'm kind of deep down rooting for. I'm excited for Sam Darnold. Can't say that enough. But Trayvon Diggs picked him off twice within a two-minute time span. Uh, just huge momentum killer. Uh just helping the Dallas Cowboys pile on points. This is a relatively close game at halftime before uh, it, before, before that, you know, Dallas just kind of opened things up. And these two turnovers really helped put the game away for Dallas, keeping things out of reach. It's hard. It, momentum's a very, very real thing in the National Football League. An interception is a very, very, uh, it's, a, it's a punch in the gut, and it can really stall an offense. And when you get two interceptions, uh, within that quick amount of time, it's hard to come back from it. It really, truly is. That's how. But that Dallas is firing on all cylinders right now. Love them or hate them. I know a lot of people hate the Dallas Cowboys. It's 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 easy to. It's too easy to. Uh, the social media echo chamber definitely does not help their uh, definitely does not help their case at all. But um, but they're good on both sides of the ball. They are good offensively. Electric defensively, they're fun. <laughs> they are fun, and Trayvon Diggs is a huge aspect of it. So let's uh, let's get into our scenario. Let's take a look at our play that we have going on here. So uh, for the Carolina Panthers, they are in eleven personnel. All right, we have a tight end, an extra man on the right hand side, and the running back. I believe that's Chuba Hubbard to uh, Sam Darnold's left. All right. Uh, looks like sh shotgun, and we have two wide receivers on the right and one on the left. I believe it might be considered twins right. Uh, again, that's terminology that we're going to get better with as we go along. Uh, as for the Dallas defense, they are in a uh, a nickel 4-2-5. Seems to be what they're playing here. And uh, they got two men deep. We got a cover two we're looking at. As, as lot, at least when as the play unfolds, as cover two. Man coverage, even though they're playing back a little bit, they got the, the it's it's relatively man coverage. So let's uh, let's take a look and listen as far as uh, and, and hear what you know hear this play unfold. All right. Seen that? Looked pretty cool. All right. Here's why I picked this one. This one was a little bit more strategic. It was a little bit better of a uh, of a effort per se uh, on Trayvon Diggs. I believe the f not. I mean Trayvon again, great plays, but the first play was definitely miscommunication between Sam Donald and Robbie Anderson. Definitely, definitely. This one, however, was uh, it was simple yet beautiful. All right. Trayvon Diggs, very, very, very smart defender, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, let's uh, let's start to break this play down. Again, it's very quick, um, but I will, you know, I, I give you my perspective as to why this 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 ball went the other way. All right, Sam Darnold hikes the ball. The defense is coming. They send four, and then uh, a couple of our linebackers corner. They 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 start to fall back into coverage. All right. Darnold throws the ball. He's looking at DJ Moore, of course. DJ Moore is wide receiver one. And Trayvon Diggs is right there for the pick. 
All right. I am aware that I have not shown you anything yet as really as to why this ball is picked off. We're going to slow it down for you right here. All right. We talk about making reads all the time. All right. And uh, making reads. A smart defender can look at a quarterback, look at where his line of vision is, and determine where a ball is going. And in Trayvon Diggs, you know, uh, to Trayvon Diggs' benefit here, Sam Darnold looked at DJ Moore the whole way. As soon as he got the ball hiked, he knew he was looking for DJ Moore. And uh, it, it's much like some of these old uh, uh, phrases where the head goes, the body follows, or it's like an unwritten rule in sword fighting or something like that, like sword combat or any kind of combat. You look with your opponent's eyes, and wherever they're looking, that's where they intend to strike. And that's kind of what Sam Darnold did. It's a rookie mistake here. Uh, not, not, not the. I love to praise Sam Darnold, but this was not a uh, not very good on his end. Not very good on his end. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so he hikes the ball, and as soon as he hikes, his head is looking to the left. All right, DJ Moore's not even looking back at him, but he is looking to his left hand side. The only receiver down there is DJ Moore. Trayvon Diggs picks this up. He sees this. He started the play looking directly at Sam Darnold, so he's looking at his line of vision the entire time. He sees the throw happen. He sees DJ Moore start to slow down, and Trayvon just he 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 goes into a break of his own. He just shoots straight. All right, I know it's a little blurry, not the best quality of video here, but that's right where he's at. That's he, he that's that's him picking off the ball right there. He shot straight through. Played back, and it's his. Again, so simple, so simple. This is bare bones, basic, uh, you know, NFL defense awareness. But this is why this happened as often as it did. Sam Darnold's the biggest, the the, the guilty culprit in this. Uh, you know, just making that one read. You're <laughs> good quarterbacks make multiple reads. All right. Good quarterbacks are looking at the right-hand side of the field, all right, where you have two weapons. D.J. Moore is obviously the X. That's the wide receiver one. So that's why they put Trayvon Diggs on him. And uh, Sam Darnold did little to help sell this play and help it unfold. So one more time. All right. Shotgun snap. Looking at the left the entire time. Trayvon Diggs sees it. He sees DJ Moore slow down, start to cut back, and he starts. He's seeing Sam Darnold start his uh, start his release, and he just runs straight through. That is the e one of the easiest interceptions Trayvon Diggs will ever have as an NFL player. Easy, but that's how good he is. That's how just you know his awareness. That's how you know he's as good of a player as he is. Trayvon Diggs is a beast, and Dallas Cowboys fans rejoice. He is that good. And he got a nice bobble, nice fight, and it's his. One more time. Ball is snapped, looking right away. Zoom. Got it. His. Going back to Dallas. Pour on the points. Pour on the points. 319. 319. Cut. 3-3. Yeah, spot. <laughs> 